Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to monetize a YouTube channel without Google AdSense. I'm going to show you a whole lot of ways to do this and where to go. The first way that you can do this, and these are in no particular order, but the first thing that you could do that's not AdSense is Super Chat. So if you want to stay on the YouTube platform and monetize without leaving YouTube, without selling products, you can do just live streamed videos and enable super chat so to know if you can do super chat log into youtube go to your channel in your creator studio go to status and features and then uh, make sure you can do live streaming and that it's enabled you can see mine is right here and uh you also want to enable super chat i don't i haven't been doing super chat i need to probably try it a few times just to see if you guys like it but um I've been just working on a lot of other things. So uh, Super Chat, the thing about this is when you do a channel like mine, for instance, um, the playback value is not very good in terms of search rank when it comes to uh, a video that's been recorded live. So in other words, if I were to try and rank for a keyword or to help people searching for a certain idea so like for instance you probably were searching for something related to like how do i monetize my youtube channel without adsense well if i had live recorded this instead of pre-recording um and then just publishing as a pre-recorded video then it would have probably done better while i was recording but then drop off in terms of long-term traffic so uh, live chat is good for making some money. People pay to um, get their questions and stuff uh, put to the top of the chat while you're streaming. But after the stream is done, your video is probably not going to do much in uh, search results or anything like that. So just as an example, uh, you can try you can search like ask me anything live or something like that. And you'll probably see a bunch of playbacks of different people who do live streams. And what you'll notice is that there are comments that pop up on the right side. So like here's an example. I think this guy does this kind of stuff. So you have this big blank space here. And you'll notice that the uh, comments will usually pop up on the right side as the video goes on. It'll have top chat replay and you see all these uh, comments. And then people, if you were doing super chat, then people could pay money just to kind of donate to the channel, be like, hey, I, I support your channel. Thank you for doing what you do. Or to get their content or their question bumped up to the top so that the creator of the video can see it. Another thing you can do is affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing is basically when you get commissions for helping people sell their stuff so you don't have to have your own products this way you get commissions for helping others sell their products one example i like to use is this video right here because a lot of you have probably heard of pat flynn who has smart passive income which is a pretty popular business podcast and uh, he has this video that's really old but at the time uh, was making him pretty good money because it helped people set up a blog with Bluehost and WordPress. And then he has this link right down here in the description with his affiliate link for Bluehost. So this way he would get commissions on Bluehost hosting for when people created a website, but he was helping them do it by having this video tutorial. That's pretty much how you wanna do affiliate marketing on YouTube. So uh, in many cases, people make more money from things like affiliate marketing than from ad revenue anyway. So you might wanna try this and uh, see if you can uh, get some success with it. There are many affiliate programs. One of the most popular ones and probably the biggest one is Amazon. You can go to affiliate-program.amazon.com. You can earn up to 10% commissions here. Um, and they have pretty much almost all of their products, probably like 95% of their products are affiliate eligible. So that's another way you can do it. And that's kind of, a, this video is an example of how you can turn this into a video format and then just put the affiliate link in the description. Okay, number three, you can do YouTube sponsors. So you have to let YouTube know when you have uh, sponsors in the video or uh, you know some kind of relationship with 
the company that you're talking about in many cases if it's a sponsored video. So famebit.com is a place where you can find sponsors in the first place. And what you would wanna do is click, uh, is click I'm a creator. And when you click I'm a creator, that tells them that you're a YouTuber or you know I think they do a few other social platforms on here as well. But uh, you can create as a YouTuber and get sponsors. So basically, they'll they'll be uh, looking for creators that are popular and have a certain type of audience and uh, demographic that they get views for, and they will want to advertise their product. And you'll have you'll make a video for them in exchange for money that talks about that product or that company or whatever. So. That's another thing you can do is get sponsorships and FameBit is one place where you can find sponsors. Number four, another thing you can do is get people to subscribe and become members of a paid version of your channel. So basically you can get ad revenue, you can get affiliate marketing, you can do super chat and all that stuff as usual with YouTube, but you can also have people become a member and pay monthly to get exclusive content that is better than the normal content or is more um, personalized or whatever. So for instance, um, just as an example, there's a channel called uh, Graham Steven and this guy gives you investing advice pretty much in uh, finance advice. That's pretty much what his channel is based on. He's got about 900,000 917,000 subscribers, but you'll notice that uh, they have a join button next to the subscribe button. When you click join, you can sign up for $5 a month and uh, get a few perks, but you can ask him questions directly. You can probably get more in-depth investing advice. I don't know exactly what he does, but you know, you can, for an informative channel like this one, you could give more advanced tutorials and advice and actually take questions uh, from individual people in certain situations and uh, people pay five dollars a month for that so if you want to get membership uh, revenue you can do that directly on youtube you'll have to go to your creator studio to do this and enable it if you're eligible now for instance this channel in particular is not eligible for whatever reason i've never really uh, looked into that myself, at least not here lately. Um, but you can click learn more, read more about it, and uh, become eligible. Just do what you got to do to get there. And then you can start giving exclusive content, and uh, people will pay you like $5 a month each. Okay, so some YouTubers um, actually use YouTube as a means of getting clients and they don't actually care about monetizing their YouTube channel like a normal YouTuber would. So they're not really YouTubers necessarily. They're just, uh, they're professionals trying to sell their skills or something along those lines, their services of what, like lawyers, for instance, like some lawyers will do this. Um, they'll get clients through YouTube by just giving, uh, you know, advice in different situations, answering common questions in YouTube videos. So um, if you have freelance skills, you can sell those on sites like Fiverr.com and Upwork.com. Those are two huge freelance sites where you can sell your coding skills, your graphic design skills, your SEO skills, whatever it is that you're good at. If you can sell these skills on a like per job basis as a freelancer and get clients through YouTube. Like I said, I've seen lawyers do it. I've seen many other uh, professions where they will just give advice on things and then they'll get clients. They'll have their phone number or email or whatever in the description so that people can contact them. Or you can have a link to your profile on like a freelance site and uh, get clients that way. Okay, number six, you can basically sell your art or other handcrafted goods through YouTube and you can kind of display them, show them what it's like. You can do, you can even do like tutorials. You see a lot of channels that do very well doing uh, like dinosaur drawing tutorials or something like that. There's all kinds of drawing tutorials on YouTube and that could be a good way to get a lot of viewers and then sell your original artwork if people 
would rather just buy it and put it up on their wall or buy your sculptures or whatever it is that you make. You could start an Etsy store, click sell on Etsy at the top there and create a store um, online where you can sell your, whether it's prints, canvas, you know, handcrafted jewelry, whatever it is that you sell. You also have Amazon Handmade, which is another one. I believe they take high, highly, um, I believe they take slightly higher fees than Etsy and both of them, of course, are going to take their uh, cut for being the platform that you're selling on, but um, it's, it's still less maintenance than having your own website and doing it that way. Eventually, you'll probably want to have your own website uh, once you've built a customer base, but you can start out by selling on Amazon Handmade and uh, Etsy by just signing up on those sites where they also have a huge amount of users already. So you should get more traffic this way. But you can you, you, you can do uh, drawing tutorials, you can do um, reveals and all kinds of stuff on YouTube to get your traffic to those different uh, product pages. Okay, so another thing you can do is sell online products. So digital products, in other words. So if you don't wanna deal with uh, packing and shipping and customer support and all that kind of stuff and custom orders and uh, dealing with the public just directly, you don't have to do that. You can sell courses. So in, in, in other words, instead of selling your services like you would as a freelancer where you are in a way getting paid by the hour, um, you can just teach people how to do it and then they can take the course on their own time. So a site like teachable.com allows you to sell online courses and uh, create them using their platform. It makes it easier for you. What you can do is also sell eBooks by going to kdp.amazon.com and eBooks of course are, you know, you might make it like $10 or so for an eBook, five to $10 maybe, and then sell these to teach people how to do something. Or if you're, if you're really creative, you could maybe try and do a, a fictional novel or something. But um, you can sell digital products and you don't have to worry about a lot of the expenses or the stress of creating physical products. And then you can use YouTube to get traffic to these. So you would be like if you were uh, creating a, a, a YouTube channel about how to uh, build a YouTube channel. So like if you've ever heard of video creators, for instance, they have a channel that is all about improving your YouTube presence. And then they might sell courses that go more in depth about YouTube tips, strategies, and how to build a very successful channel. Another thing you can do is sell music. So there are a few different ways to do this. Through YouTube, you could uh, sell stock music. You could play examples of it on your YouTube channel and just put like a static image as your visual or you could have yourself playing the music as your visual, however you wanna do it. But a site like premiumbeat.com is a great place to sell um, stock music where people can purchase the rights to use it as a background or whatever they wanna use it for. They might use it as a background for their podcast or their YouTube videos or whatever. Another thing you can do is uh, look at a site like Frog Leap Studios. So Frog Leap Studios has over 3 million subscribers and a lot of their revenue comes from, you know, ads and selling music and all of this kind of stuff. But they have a very successful brand that involves them. They make money from uh, doing covers of famous songs and making them like a different genre. So what they do is they take a song in one genre and then convert it to metal and they do it themselves and they record themselves doing it. So it's like a music video. And then they also sell their songs on like iTunes and stuff like that. And then, you know, they make money off of behind the scenes videos and those types of things. So Frog Week Studios, I would recommend you look at some of their videos as well. And then you can also uh, sell your music by just going to wherever people buy music like Google Play, Apple, etc., and uh, submit your music to be purchasable. And like Google Play, for instance, you can go to play.google.com slash artist, and then they will recommend that you use one of these kind of like third-party sites 
to uh, sign up with and then they help you distribute your music. So you got TuneCore, Stem, DistroKid, Believe, all these different uh, kind of third party sites that help you get your music on the uh, places where people can purchase it online. Another strategy for making money from me, uh, from YouTube videos without actually dealing with AdSense is Patreon. And Patreon is another way for you to kind of get memberships and do exclusive content. So if you're not really liking the idea of the YouTube membership or maybe you're ineligible, then you can go to Patreon and you can offer exclusive content on Patreon and people can pay $5, $10 a month, whatever it is that, um, you know, you set it up for and whatever perks you allow on there. And then you can get more of a consistent income than you might from ads because you know how much people are paying and you know about how many subscribers you have. And if you keep giving more and more really good um, exclusive content, then people will stay subscribed. So patreon.com allows you to do that. Just click create a Patreon up there in the top right and uh, that's one way that you can also monetize um, without having to deal with the eligibility factor on YouTube memberships. Okay, the 10th way that you can monetize your channel without having to deal with AdSense is merch. So you can sell t-shirts, but you can do so much more than that now. You can sell coffee mugs, you can sell uh, pretty much apparel of all sorts. You can sell leggings, you can sell hoodies, you can sell phone covers. You can turn your designs that um, your audience on YouTube loves into all sorts of products. Using a site like Teespring and many others, you can directly put them on your videos and sell them at the bottom of your videos or you can just have a link in your description and people can go to your store that way. But if you use a site like Teespring or Redbubble or something like that, they can make it easier for you to sell because you don't have to deal with manufacturers directly. You can basically just uh, have your products bought and then that company like Teespring will print it, pack it and ship it to the customer and then they just take a cut of every purchase that you have so they can take a lot of the headaches out of this kind of uh business where you have merch and you're selling it through youtube or however you're selling it and uh then maybe in the future you have a deal with a manufacturer or something as you as you grow but here are a couple of examples so marketplier is a gamer who is very popular has 24 million subscribers and you'll notice that he has like a, uh, a bunch of links in his description. And you'll notice that one of them is, uh, says my comfy clothes. And then you can go there and uh, purchase different clothes that um, he'll make money off of. So you can do a direct link in your description like that. Or you can use uh, one of the kind of partnered brands with YouTube that uh, allows you to directly purchase shirts and stuff in the description of a channel so like this channel they have uh you know they have these different shirts and you can look at them without leaving the youtube page and then you can click the one you want and go straight to the purchase page so those are two different ways to do it you can have a link to your store or you can use one of the ones that's partnered with youtube and uh, do it that way another way that you can monetize your youtube channel without adsense is coaching and consulting so you can literally just get paid to give people advice or you can get paid to uh, consistently help people to reach a certain goal so you might be a fitness coach you might have a fitness channel where you teach people how to do different exercises and you give tips and then you might have a coaching service where people can pay you know a hundred bucks a month or something for you to do uh, monthly calls on Skype or whatever video chat platform you have, you'll probably want to do something like that so they can show results and you can give live advice face to face. Um, and you can do that. You can be like a personal trainer online without having to be there in person and uh, be limited to a local uh, fan base. So you can also do consulting where you maybe you have a 
coding tutorial channel and then you can teach people how to um, create a piece of software or you can teach or you can tell them like hey this is where I would clean up the code and this is what I would do if I were you or whatever so coaching and consulting are two things you could also sell on YouTube for this uh, there's not really a great website or platform that I know of where you can just sign up as a coach and people go pay you for coaching I think there may be a couple out there, but I don't think they're really mainstream or super popular yet. Um, but I would recommend you just have your own website for this. So you can sign up through uh, something like WordPress, which is what I use, and about 30% of the whole internet does now. But uh, selfmadesuccess.com, I have a start a blog uh, page here that will teach you how to set that up. Or you can go with something like you know Foursquare or you know, whatever the other website builders are, Wix, Weebly, um, and then you can have something like Skype or some kind of, you know, Google Hangouts or something where you can do a video chat is what I recommend. And then last but not least, you have things like shout outs. So basically you can help other YouTubers grow their YouTube channel and you can get paid by mentioning them or by doing a collaboration. So a, sh a, a shout out, um, could help other YouTubers in many cases. You could even do it on Twitter. You don't necessarily even have to do it directly on YouTube, but Shoutcart does cover influencers on all different platforms. You have YouTubers, you have Instagram users. That's another really popular one. You have Twitter. Those are three of the more popular ones for doing shout outs like this, but shoutcart.com allows you to kind of find these people that will be willing to pay you for shout outs once you've kind of built your brand on YouTube. So that would be another thing you can do. Um, an example, it's hard to give an example for this, but um, you could maybe do something like Video Creators, which is a great channel um, where they help you build a YouTube presence, but uh, they have a thing where um, the main guy for the channel has guests on all the time now i don't he probably doesn't do shout outs and stuff he probably just does like hey i'll help you you help me i'll just have you as a guest on the show to help us both create content you can do that as well but uh, you'll notice that a lot of these have uh, guests that you may recognize from other youtube channels so he'll do uh, collaborations all the time with other popular youtubers that you would probably recognize and uh, with a site like Shoutcart or something like that, you could actually get paid for that instead of just doing it, you know, as a collaboration where no one gets paid. It just depends on how you want to do it. So those are a bunch of different ways that you can monetize your YouTube channel without having to deal with AdSense. A lot of YouTubers actually admit that AdSense is just a very small percentage of their revenue anyway. And in many cases, it's hard to live off of AdSense unless you're just really good at consistently ranking for keywords that are high paying by advertisers, or you're just really good at like PewDiePie at being entertaining. So if you want more tips like this for YouTube, check out that playlist in the top right on the video and also go to selfmadesuccess.com if you need links that I mentioned in this video and uh, all the show notes that you need. So other than that, I hope this was helpful for you. And I will see you in the next video.